How's it going, guys? That's right. I'm going to be working on a new mod list built off of Lorem. We'll see how things go. Right now, I'm just kind of uh, experimenting with stuff, experimenting with landscapes, testing things, but hopefully it ends up looking pretty nice. Don't don't mind the uh, grass on the roads. Without a grass cache, that's going to happen, but I wanted to test some stuff out because I'm, I'm really curious um, about things. First and foremost, Making a new masterpiece. I want, well, I, I don't know what I want to do with this entirely. I don't know how much, um, like how much uh, f into the visual stuff on a go, right? Because um, visuals, like, what counts as visual? Should I include? Because I mean, this right here added Northern Roads. For example, there you not make yourself in a gameplay. It's yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of like this grass, to be honest. It provides like a solid contrast, but I might I might go with something greener. We'll see. Not a Lauren, right? Oh wait, did I have? Crack out! Kick, kick! I straight up cracked out there. I might check out Nolbus Grass too. See how that ends up looking. And I'm using a Bulk Venger, I think. Which is decent. But I forgot how a uh, brown vanilla Falk Venger looked. I might swap it out for something else. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, then I'm gonna swap this. Hunger? I don't even know what landscape mod I installed. It's about how much I'm paying attention. Fixing grass fading? What do you mean fixing grass fading? You mean you mean this? You mean you mean this right here? This? Is that what you mean by grass fading? Like as you're walking the grass. Cause that's not that's not grass fading, that's uh so by default in vanilla skyrim you don't uh have grass lods 
So you need, for, I mean, no matter what, you have to be on version 1.5.97. I mean, technic, you can do it on, you can have grass slots on an older version, but it's uh, going to be pretty tough. I mean, on a, on an earlier, on the newer versions, it's going to be pretty tough. <clears throat> But yeah, the the answer is you need to generate grass lots. Man, I re I really like Atlantean landscapes. Atlantean with a green tundra. Let's do it. And I really I kind of like the brown with moss uh, mountains. I'll, I'll I'll um I'll show you guys. I've tried just about every landscape mod. I keep going back to Atlantean. Yeah, it's a new list. Ew. Okay, let's... Uh, uh, I was just testing out um, tomatoes. The tomatoes landscape isn't too bad. Uh, And then I'll put that there. Um, no drifts. I like I like um, the frozen marsh ice tomatoes. It's actually pretty solid. I might I might yoink just a few things from tomatoes. Let's see. This do the diffuse meshes. Okay. Um, now Fantasia, unfortunately, it's probably going to be a hard pass because it's not compatible with the uh, terrain blending fix. So I think uh, that ain't going to be it. Um, Cabbage E and B actually just recently updated for uh, Silent Horizons 2. Tomatoes new slip Uh I I ended up eating them for Lorem. Um after after looking at them a little bit more, um they have some issues. The The ones included within Tomatoes Landscape mod is pretty good, but the Slate Mountains can cause a lot of graphical problems, fortunately. So I went with a different um, mountain texture instead for Lorem. They, the way that they're the texture them itself is made causes like a uh, a line through a bunch of rocks. I, I do like how they look from a distance, but they started bothering me up close. So, Atlantium, I really like <clears throat> this. This one is kind of slept on, uh, and it's cool for fantasy style. Uh, Atlanteans, um, brown mountains, the brown with moss. I think it looks really sick. Although it, you, you do end up getting them everywhere, but, uh, if you're going for like a fantasy style, it's actually pretty sweet. Okay, grass though, let's... Let's check out Nova's grass. Download and install mixed grass. Download. Is 
that the one? Man. Okay, I already have it. Download and install Tamriel, like download. Oh my God, Vector, please. Please, Vector, why do you do this to me? I've been a good little boy. None of it's downloading through a uh, freaking uh, I call it mod organizer. Oh, that's the old one though. Eh, we'll stick with it, I guess. Yeah, he made Sentinel. He made Toldor's Everstead. Tyler, fix my zoomed in screen for Jack Elder and my bus. Uh, you'll have to bring it up to Captain Panda. I don't, I don't know. You're using tomato slate. I think tomato slate, like I said, it looks good from a distance. There's no, there, you're right, there's no perfect mountain mod. It's just because of how uh, mountains are in Skyrim. You know what? Maybe I should use Fantasia just because I think a lot of, so if I'm making this a visual uh, list to fork from, right? I think a lot of people might end up getting confused with how terrain parallax blending fix even works in the first place. So maybe I'll, I will use Fantasia with ERM just to keep it simple. And then for my own, like when I need to fork the list, uh, maybe I'll just uh, do it myself, you know? All right. So get rid of train parallax blending fix. Womp womp. Get rid of Atlantean. Get rid of Tomat. I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple. White or grayish with a little detail in I feel like there's mountains like that a lot. A Vic? Yeah. E ERM can be nice. It kind of depends on what you're going for. We can check it out. Although it does have some uh, issues. DRM I might uh, honestly put as a late loader out there, just so it doesn't mess with uh, their stuff. It has landscapes, just the mountains. EFPS. Ugh. I don't recommend using EFPS personally. Amarelic grass, okay. Select green for tundra and rift in the foam mod, okay. Am 
Man, why Nexus is screwing with me today? I, uh, Lux Via now has a patch hub. So Lux, Lux Via, and Lux Orbis now, which is super clutch, have um, separated patch hubs so that you don't have to keep rerunning the... That's the one thing that sucked about like Lux and Lux Orbis is now you can just rerun the patch hubs super easily. You don't have to worry as much about your uh, choices being Scuffed. All right, Fantasia, Parallax. God, where do I just put it? Where the hell did I just put it? I'll put it here. Actually, no, it should be there. Uh... So let's see, ERM. Hmm, Fantasia, I mean, the, uh, maybe I'll just stick to Fantasia's, um, uh, mountain texture. The mountain slab. Bro, it can't be serious. One megabyte per second? Maybe FPS is not needed for some city and town months. Not being good. Would that mean all the patches in the original phone mods are redundant? Well, so you would, so how it works, Ire, is you need to now go and re-download because Lux, Lux Via and Lux Orbis, they all got updated and now they also have separate patch hubs. So the patches are now separate from the base mod. So meaning what I would do is first get the patch hub and run all the patches. Then it should override a bunch of stuff, then get the up updated version of the base mod. And then you, uh, overwrite the base mod. Because now when you rerun Lux Via, it's not going to come. It's just going to come with the options, right? But then it's not going to come with any patches. So the patch hub is separate, meaning so the nice thing about that is you run the uh, base thing and then you don't you don't mess with that anymore. Actually troll. Uh so let's see Tamrielic grass. That's taking forever. Uh Vados Brahm regions. Folkbanger. Well, I already have Folkbanger, so that's nice. I'll have to reinstall it, but yeah. And then summer grass, summer. That. Uh, what? Oh, finger free and become. I'm I'm so confused. Oh, there we go. Folk finger summer. It's downloading. Why is it saying folk finger? I need folk finger summer. I feel like I'm being trolled. One sec. There's only a Folkfinger. 
I'll ignore it. An origin of the forest. that cathedral grab all those is at least fantasia done yet no It's almost done. You're modding it from scratch? Not really fully from scratch. I, um, I, uh, basically took Lorem and deleted most of the stuff from Lorem. But it's not fully from scratch. I just realized some of this stuff needs to go while I'm waiting on, uh, that other stuff. Like better third person selector, is that really a, um, a detection meter? Because I want to keep it a um, visual only sort of thing. Jewish Fallout has less like this. What do you have envisioned? Just make the graphics as good as possible. That's the main focus. As good and consistent as I can. But I also want it to have as few plugins as possible. So if you see here, only so far only 320 plugins. And I'd like to get that down some more. Um, Cause I, th I think like loose files are, are easier for people to manage. But when it comes to plugins, that's where people seem to struggle the most. So like if I can get these down and I wanna have as few ESP slash ESMs, right now I'm at only 40 ESP slash ESMs. I want it really to be a really good looking list, but it's super easy to build off of, regardless of what size the list ends up being. UI changes. Well, I mean, right now it still has, um, Untarnished UI. I haven't removed that. BF tweaks on this? Oh, yeah. I mean, it'll be doable. Like I said, I don't want any gameplay stuff, if possible. So I'm, I'm approaching it from the sense of, uh, you know, whether you're at, planning to add Requiem or NIRM or whatever. <laughs> yeah, if Nordic 2 UI comes out, then I'll, I'll definitely do it. I don't understand. I'm playing Lorem right now and I get better performance than Novus. How is that possible? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into performance. I, I try to be careful about texture sizes, world space additions, things like that. I 
when a modless author cares about FPS. And Tarnish has a weird bug with dynamic. That makes. What? I I used dynamic bow dodge shot in Lorem though, and I don't have that issue. Uh, so I I don't know why you would have that. You can you can literally see me playing around with uh, that mod in other videos, so I don't know. I think you have by far the best looking list of close second is La La Land, but for different reasons. I haven't played La La Land in a second. Yeah, SRX series is a huge tank. I know he said it in his Discord and confirmed it. See, I'm just so good that I fix things that nobody else can. Just every, everything works. Yo, Blue! Raid my beard. It's getting pretty long. I appreciate the super. Yeah, the FPS dips are pretty crazy. Tim real like grass, what is it? Like green. Okay, yeah, green, green. Okay, yeah. I already have Row and Novus to install. Stop me. Another one. Yeah, I'm sticking with 1.5. What do you tend to be the main distinctions between your list as Asensio? I mean, everything. Like, Asensio, there's very, very little of Asensio left in Lorem. And with this, there's pretty much no Asensio left. Besides, like, the stuff that every list is going to have, there's very little stuff left from Asensio. I don't think, like, if you even... Yeah, if you search Asensio, nothing comes up. So... Anything that I saw that was Asensio-related, I just completely scrapped in order to... Not... Uh, feel like I'm just building off of Asensio in a weird way. But the visuals are going to be a lot more expanded, I think. But it'll be more vibrant. Uh, Northern Roads will be in it because I think there's, there's a lot of people who like Northern Roads and there's no visual only lists with Northern Roads. Victor Realis, E and B. Victor Realis is cool, but it, it's, um, I think it's still kind of a work in progress. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if it's close to done yet. That is pretty nice though. I mean, I could use it for this list. I've tested it out, but sometimes you get strange things happening. I'm going to give it more time to cook, I think. Smoothness. Yeah, I think capping FPS to 60 is just a good thing to do. Got my attention with me. Well, here, we're about to see it in a second. I was just waiting for Fantasia to uh, finish. I'll launch it up without uh, grass changes. So we'll just look at... Uh... Alright, let me see this too. I think I like Fantasia's um, 
drums a bit more than ERMs. In terms of the texture. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the with Fantasia. Okay. Check this out. Modless can be uh, independent. I appreciated the first person mod for MCO. You solved the main issue I had with it and I can solve it to a player. Exactly, Blue! Exactly! I honestly hate uh, any non-MCO third person gameplay for Skyrim. I don't care what animation mod you use. It just feels off, you know? So I really like the... Um, I, I like the idea of having MCO as an option for third person and then using whatever you want for first. They vibe with a lot of viewers. So I guess we should not be swapping your list from the sense to Well, hopefully. Okay, so this is the landscapes. I, keep in mind, grass is about to change in a second. The grass, watch. When, when the grass mod pops, you're gonna be like, oh shit. When, the, when I throw in Nolvis grass or whatever grass mod I decide to use, um, you're gonna be like, oh damn. Okay, so far looking so good. What's your grass mod merch called, Teal? Will this let's improve audio as well? Yeah, um, I mean, I have the, so I have the uh, Phoenix Compendium in here, as well as um, uh, like the mods that fix the base game audio. The, I, I, I didn't want to add any of like um, ESP driven audio mods because those, uh, can actually need a lot of patching work and not everybody wants them. So no audio overhaul Skyrim, no immersive sounds compendium, no sounds of Skyrim. But Phoenix compendium is in this, so. Hi. Burden and then one point. But do you wait? I don't. Do you have a grass thing on the Nexus? This Burdened one point six C short grass. Is this it? I right, see you later, Solace. No, I'm not trying to go for a yellow tundra. I don't, I'm not a big fan of yellow tundra anymore. I'm just gonna do Nolbus. Nolbus grass. Okay, so let's see the instructions here. Download and install mixed grass. Okay, that's what this is. grass right and tamrielic okay bam that okay uh and then vedos brahm oh and to Okay. 
I'm waiting on Vader's Braum, but then I need Falk Vanger. Reinstall that. And Falk Vanger Summer. Okay, and Falk Vanger for ENB. Summer Grass, yep. And then it wants me to do Origins of the Forest, that, Cathedral, that. So the load order is short, Tamrielic. Really need Vader's Brum to download it faster than one. Please, Nexus. Why does it go up and then it goes back down? What the heck? Quite fond of immersive sounds. Now it has nothing to do with copyright. It doesn't have anything to do with copyright. Immersive sounds compendium it modifies uh, vanilla records. So does audio overhaul Skyrim, so does sounds of Skyrim. So in my opinion, to have them in a visual only mod list isn't the best idea because it's gonna make patching annoying for people without them even realizing. Same thing why like I needed diverse dragons collections, you know, and I'm probably gonna move some other little things like that. So I'm going for low plugin count, but doing the most I can with those plugins. I might install some of uh, Pentapox's uh, audio mods, the ones that just replace vanilla audio sounds and don't, um, don't come with any ESPs. What's up, Shadow? So I'm going for like pretty high mod count, just low plugin count. dynamic armor variants. These are just kind of scene fixes. Vedas Brahm, finally. Auto organizer, fresh install, ENB support. They want me to do vanilla or dense. It doesn't even say. I need to put Vedas Brahm before Falkvanger. Okay. Slap it right there. And then now it wants me to compact the form IDs. All right. 
Not bad. Oops, yeah, it's going to be kind of like Elder Gleam in the sense that it'll be a, a list that you can just build off of. I'm going to need a novice. Press mashup seasons. So it wants me to compact. Uh, the short grass mixed, okay. Heard a header self. Amarelic grass, does it want me to compact that? No. Betas Brahm, yes. Compact these form IDs. The header. So, uh, Volkvanger. Kind of want to, kind of want to get rid of all the world space edits for Volkvanger. Maybe I shouldn't. Let me. I'll, I'll first see what Nolvis has. But if Novas doesn't make any world edits, then I'm going to do that. Uh, Origins of the Forest. And Cathedral Pinegrass, okay. That's now an ESL. That is now an ESL. What's the current version? Uh, 1.5 by 97. All of us crash. Hey, there we go. Look at that. All right, let, let me go back into X edit. I want to see if Nova's grass mashup doesn't make any world edits, then yeah, I'm just going to, I'm definitely going to delete the other thing. I also want to see how this plays out with water plants, because I, I do like the water plants mod. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, look. All right, there's none. All right. Time to delete Hulkfinger's world space edits. Novus grass. Okay, let me see water plants too. Water plants. Landscape texture. Yeah, see? Water plants. Uh, actually, I can just have water plants after... Ooh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a new cell, action visual overhaul, water plants, patch. So, I'm gonna bring all these over. I mean, I'm not gonna keep, I'll keep whatever kelp this wants. It looks like Falkfanger. But I'm gonna bring over the uh, the 
plants from water plants. So I think that'll end up looking pretty nice. Bam. Save all that. Hey, and then we're ready to go, I think. I'm excited to see if this uh, turns out looking like anything. Uh, where's the water plant smell? Oh, I need to add the solstime grass. do that eventually. Water plants really should be like right there. And then the water plants should go where you want to see. Okay. Now we got all the grass, all this grass mashup, water plants. Let's see how this looks. At 348 months, hell yeah. I learned more from, about program from modern Scrum than I ever did from school. I know, right? Games do teach you stuff. What's up, Ia? Uh, let's see, let's see. It's weird not having many plugins and stuff. Look how fast it loads. I need to fix the, uh... oh, I bet it's a weird terrain texture. I need to fix that. But hey, that's looking pretty solid. Screaming Lake server is going to be shut down. Oh, did they just announce that? rough I don't I mean I can't really blame them because of the um... wait, wait wait I need to I need to go in here make sure there's no landscape textures being added like for non grass because something is is screwing with of course it's Falkfanger why wouldn't it be Falkfanger Textures, landscapes. Get out of here! Bookbanger, textures, landscapes. All right, let's check this out now. How do you get the grass load so far? Oh, this ain't even nothing. Something's gonna for murder the fallout for scene, yeah. Yeah, it's always Folkfinger. Folkfinger is a is a pretty fine grass mod for the grass, but it does way too much. It adds new textures. It makes world space changes. I remember when I was first, uh, it, it was like Alpha Lorem, right? And I had landscape seams everywhere, and I couldn't figure out why. And it's because it was because of Folkfinger. No tipsy, there wouldn't be. Yo, this is looking pretty solid. This is looking pretty solid. Oh, this is the new version of Cabbage and B, by the way. Cabbage and B just got updated, and it's kind of a banger. 
It it uses a silent horizons shader core now. And it fixed a lot of its uh, graphical inconsistencies in the process. Like the, the flames are still pretty orange, but they're nowhere near as um, like oversaturated as they were before. Like before, they were they would have some weird issues. Yes, remember yesterday the cabbage was like yeah, cabbage like o literally overnight was just like, Biggie's talking shit, let's prove him wrong. I take it back, Cabbage looks good now. I honestly take it back, Cabbage looks really good now. Do you plan on adding seasons? No. Screw seasons. Screw seasons? Seasons just makes things look bad. I could. It wouldn't be hard, considering I use Nolvis Crash, which has seasonal support. And I use... Olvenwald trees, which have seasonal support. It wouldn't even be a hard thing to do, but I don't think it looks that good. And also, I don't think it would make sense for uh, a graphical only mod list. I get seasonal depression. Exactly. I moved to Florida where it's only summer. Yeah, it's going to be a graphics overhaul. So you can add your own gameplay stuff. Dang. Yo, even this rain is pretty fucking dope. Okay, I see you, I see you. I like Fable Forest. The only thing... I'm not a fan of Enfabled Forest, is all the added trees. Like in uh, the Tundra specifically. Okay. Yeah, the sounds are pretty nice. The, the sounds are from Phoenix Compendium. So it should be pretty solid. Sand of elsewhere is far away from here. Y'all oh, just chilling. Kajita's wares. If blessings of the moon, Sapadin traveler. I hope that you will come to the business. Yeah, there's a lot that I could add, but I'm not going to, only because it um I think conflicts with uh, the the fact that this is going to be a visual only thing. So anything that tweaked gameplay stuff, I opted not to uh, add. These are northern roads with uh, a few retextures for them. Fine, but we'll be keeping an eye on you. Hell yeah, green tundra. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask your... No, N NPC replacers are also I'd kind of uh, in the realm of or non-visual only things. Because anytime you have an NPC replacer, you're editing the NPC records. So then if you have gameplay mods, it's going to mess with it. They're just going to look like enhanced versions of them, Storm their vanilla Storm. selves. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I don't think they look bad, they just don't look, you know. Maybe they have massive overhauls. I'm here to buy food, Nazim. I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Owning a farm does have its advantages. I think they look pretty good. 
Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you do. Oh, a bit of this or a bit of that. But pretty much every... Oh, a bit of this or a bit of that. Pretty much everything is going to look better, though. If you need any jewelry, just let me know. Like, look at those tomatoes. Know what I mean? No, Francis. All that stuff is stuff... I mean, if you want that stuff, you should just download a list that already has gameplay stuff. No, I don't think I'm, I'm going to have open cities either. That explains why Botox has so many patches. Yeah. Open cities is a, is a big FPS tank. But we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that piece. Also, like, how am I gonna have SR exteriors and then? I mean, it it wouldn't it wouldn't be hard to add SR exteriors, but I don't see the point. Cause if you're if you're using this as a visual baseline list, it's just gonna make it that much harder for you to do anything. You're just gonna be stuck with the cities that it has, you know. Whiterun has walls. I prefer fortified white run myself. If I want white run to have walls, he's fortified. It's not hard to add it, then people can add it themselves. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing like, you can't really have both SR exteriors and gigantic cities. So if somebody wants to take this, and then add big cities, then they're gonna have to rip out SR series and all the patches. How's it going, Smokey? Right now it's at uh, 1,339 mods. I haven't generated lots yet because I wanted to see what it, this would look like. Here, let me go to a... Uh... Oh, you know what mod would be sick though? What was that? I have it bookmarked. Iron horse statue, not that. Oriole white run, no. Called. Farm Fences of Whiterun. Check this out. Because this mod is really nice. <laughs> Where was this list when I spent a hundred hours trying to create a new garage cache for Avia? That's funny. Are animals considered visuals? Yeah, I mean, I have fluff works in this. I think, um, when you start modifying the actual records, then you've gone f far from a uh, visual only, you know? I'm trying to keep the light on record edits. That way, if someone who's not knowledgeable about modding adds mods, there's less of a chance that it breaks something. You know what I mean? So I want it to be a, a mod list that truly you can add stuff to it. It'll be super stable, hopefully. We'll have as few plugins as I can cram into it. Yo. Yo. Look at look at how this is just little mod. Look how much it adds. To, what the f Shout out to Thuldor for uh 
having it in his list. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known about this mod. This fits the, the greenery so well. Gets rid of those ugly ass walls. Makes the farms look and feel more like farms. That's so nice. Yeah, definitely need to run no grass and objects though for stuff like this. So there's a little bit of a landscape seam there. They're just, they have their cabbage buried. Let's see what. What's this? Let's get fixed for grass mods, Northern Roads, Lux via Northern Roads patch. I'm wondering if the landscape and water fixes patch should actually go a little bit after. Landscape fixes for grass mods patch. Wasn't there... I just want I already saw a mod for that. The Northern Road. That is what I thought I saw. See if that fixes it. You have a release date? No. Not yet. I mean, I literally just started working on this a couple days ago. I mean, I could do the same thing I did with uh, Lorem, where I release it as a discord only alpha first let people play test it find me find me my bugs and then i'll fix them and then release it once it's more polished Does that fix their Cabbages. I might have to put landscape fixes for grass mods lower. Yeah. Nope. Do that. Uh... Okay, fixes. Let me try putting this down here. Yo, J-Man! I appreciate the gifted membership. Hey, thank you so much. I can't put this any lower though. By uh uh Complimentary grass fixes needs to go after that, and that needs to go there. Landscape fixes and improvements. Landscape and water fixes can actually go up higher, I think. There. what this looks like. What a legend. Northern Roads 
the thing about it is there's so many patches for it. You just gotta like try to think about which one fits where, why. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd put something like that in. Like to show support your live streams, my escape. Hey, thank you so much. Well, I always like to vibe here. Relax, have a good time. to have grass in their cabbage, don't they? And the reason is, let's see. So lands, so landscape fixes for grass mods. This is something that I might just have to fix myself, to be honest. Uh... Yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll have to put like... No grass flag. For this stuff, I guess. What are you doing? I mean, there are other ways to fix it, but... Let me see this. Memory... Flux file landscape. Fixes for grass mods. You don't know how to do this part? All right, let me let me show you. So I'm gonna create a new empty mod. Call it Next Gen Visual Overhaul Northern Roads Patch. All right. Outputs. Uh, I need a dummy. I need a dummy plugin. I'm gonna grab one from Lorem. Lorem mods. Uh, Lorem. Dummy. Dummy. I'm just gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna call it uh, Next Gen Visual Overhaul Northern Roads Patch. So this is just an empty plugin. It doesn't have anything. We'll hope this works because um, Creation Kit was giving me some issues. So let's load this up in Creation Kit. Every time I play, I get a dopamine hit. <laughs> Hell yeah, what I love to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna set the patch as the active file. I'm gonna load all of these. Like I said, hopefully, it'll do what it's supposed to. By a reason. Yeah, you can paint it with a creation kit. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, 
Well, I'm not going to paint lower grass. I'm going to paint a different texture. Go to Tamriel. I hate that they called it wilderness. It's such a pain to find stuff. They should have called it Z wilderness or something. Go to Fire Run. Dun, dun, dun. Let it load in. trees or the markers or the light markers or the sound markers or the fog make the light bright problem area was this farm over here Get please. I feel like I accidentally deleted one of my fixes for creation kit. Now I don't feel like messing with it today, but it's it's not hard to fix. It's just honestly the biggest difficulty is getting creation kit to cooperate. You can do that, then you're golden. Okay. Uh, could it be? Hmm. farm is just being a menace. Aren't the complimentary grass fixes? I'm trying to open some of these in. Oh, let me let me just launch it up. CRW. Uh, tipsy. Yeah, but a lot of those fixes were for things that broke after 1.5.97. Also, you... the I mean, the biggest reason that most people stay on 1.5.97 is because of uh, grass cash. And anything else tied with the uh, .NET framework and combat pathing revolution and those are those are some gigantic mods also screw bethesda is the other reason yeah people just have overrun grass for now until creation kit decides to uh let me use it there's a nip in the air cold won't be good for my crops never is hmm a nip in the air I think the other farms are fine, it's just that one. Feel a little bit overgrown. And I don't think no grass and objects will really fix it. So it kind of is what it is. But yeah, you, Tipsy, you should look up how many of those fixes were things that weren't even an issue until one, uh, 
1.6 came out. Not sure I agree with the last one. We're all here because of Bethesda. Uh, I mean, I guess so. But that doesn't mean that they we they deserve our unwavering loyalty for all time. Bethesda has just been really scummy within the last few years. What's the grass? Uh, Nolbus grass mashup. It actually seems to fit really nicely with the uh, Fantasia. What's up, friends? Gog boy. Well, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, one point six point one one seventy. Uh, messed up. Uh, Gog support. Oh, I need a. I need to rerun my. Uh, Untarnished UI. I still have the custom skills framework and stuff. I need a rerun Untarnished. Yeah, but this, uh, the grass is working out pretty nice, I, th I think. Bethesda was a different company in 2024 Bethesda. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the um, look how nice that blends in. I feel like it blends in really well with the uh, color of the train jump hell yeah of Jason the jump also it depends on what weapon you're using too stuff is gonna bother me. Need to, need to get rid of that. Let me rerun Untarnished before I go crazy. No, one, a 640 actually probably has the least amount of compatibility. A lot of stuff dropped support for 640 lately and it only has 1170 and, and 5.97 support. Okay, so co-map I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh yeah, I know what hot kit. Uh, sorry for this. Quick loot. Bye bye. Uh, custom skills framework. Get rid of all that. Uh. UI. What needs extended UI again? I forgot what I even needed extended UI for. I'll delete it and just hope nothing breaks. Uh, character sheet. And character sheet's kind of cool, but I'll leave it. Uh, okay, untarnished UI reinstall. Permits, yes. No blur. Alt, normal, yes. 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 Flip menu, yes. That's menu. Normal. Oh, that's what I had extended UI for. Uh, queen menu. Uh, 
Oh, start menu. Omar, now extended UI is for the um, uh, when you go into your skill menu, it shows like all of your skills. Uh, do you know a fix for the solitude arch bridge not having footstep sounds? No, I added a second city mod in cows, simple solitude docks. Uh, I'm not sure why. Oh yeah, rest of us. I don't know why, but I can never get Fantasia to work. Get bluish grounds. Uh, don't use a uh, uh, terrain blending fix with Fantasia. Fantasia isn't compatible with terrain parallax blending fix. This grass is bothering me though. I don't know what this grass is. But it's like grass over there was fine. But what is this? What mod is that from? I'm not gonna let me click on it. Okay. Minecraft grass, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I heard about the Fallout London thing. It's unfortunate. Yo, but... Hey, you can't lie. You can't lie. This is uh, shaping up to look pretty solid. Dinosaurs, no dinosaurs. I haven't generated lods yet either, so keep that in mind. See, I really like water plants. Oh, I forgot that I still had the uh, <coughs> farm overhaul, or not the farm overhaul, the something camp overhaul. Oddless. Yeah, well, I mean, you shouldn't really, it wouldn't make sense to generate LODs and then show a stream of me changing all the textures and stuff. Because what, then I'd have to make you guys sit through LOD generation all day. Are you going to look at how the visuals affect other world spaces like Solstheim and Black? Uh, I honestly never look at Blackreach. I don't care. <laughs> Nor the Forgotten Veil. Vale. Forgotten Veil vale, just uses vanilla textures for the most part. I can check out uh, Solstheim though. Now Lorem is not based off of Vagabond. <laughs> I have... Oh god. Just be generating freaking lods. I need to get um, uh, the Solstheim grass mod. I I forgot that I uninstalled it. I need to reinstall it. Patch it.
Yeah, I mean, Solstheim is gonna... It's gonna look pretty much like Lorem's Solstheim, just without all the additions and... Um, a little bit less grass. Oh, I'm on legendary difficulty. Yeah, rally all time. No, this is a visual only list. I'm not adding quest mods to it. You can add them yourself. Check out the snowy areas. But yeah, any uh, anything like that, you're just gonna have to add yourself. Cross the way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. Screw you, Feralda. Oh, hey, but it will have the uh, winter hold icicle. I am not moving away from this uh, ice mod. I, I still think that this is the. Like the best ice. It just fits so well. I mean, look at it. It's glorious. I love how it, it's a uh, refractive. Bunnies will still be floof. Oh, interestingly, the the cities, the little towns and stuff are gonna, they're gonna be more enhanced because I do use the northern farmhouses of purple, purple falling snow. We found a missing texture, ladies and gentlemen. Snow blowing. Model paths. New cities mod. No, cities mods are definitely not visual only. But in this case, I used um, northern farmhouses. So they'll look better than, you know, vanilla cities. Right? But it won't be uh, really impacting the, um, the, the load order in any negative way. It's been a while since I went to vanilla winter hold. You lost. But after I'm done with this, if I still have the motivation to do so, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have uh, what you gonna call it uh. uh Quest focused mod list built off of this one. Left that truly cares what happens to Winterhold. That wizard is still at the inn. I can't believe Dagger allows him to stay there. The audio sounds pretty good. This is what it's come to. No one seems to care what they've done to our home. What's your business here in Winterhold? Hmm? And it's clear money matters more to Dagger than honor. And forks of Simon Room Requiem. Why would I, why would I fork Requiem when I already have a Requiem list? And why would I fork Simon Room when I don't like Simon Room? How long has it been copy pasted in vanilla? Yeah. I mean, Cities of the North is there if if I wanted to add it, but I think that, that Cities of the North kind of isn't visual is only at that point. I could add cities to the north anyway, just say screw it. Honestly, everybody should be using cities of the north. Too good. Even if you don't add like the great cities or anything like that, 
I think cities of the north is just solid. Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering waste room. What the heck is this? Oh, Lux Via. I'm wondering if the new Lux Via update didn't uh, screw up a texture. Because Lux Via did get updated. So maybe within the update they forgot to include something. Lorem has the same issue now. Yeah, it's it must be a Lux Via thing. Lux Via updated and then yeah. I'm I'm not gonna do multiple profiles of of completely different uh, gameplay overhauls. You'd have to be an actual maniac to do something like that. I mean, it's one thing to have like um, I need to get rid of come up. It's it's one thing to have a. Uh, They mean but um it's it's one thing to have like separate profiles for performance and stuff but um having it as gameplay overhauls it just it makes zero sense you'd have to because here's the thing when i swap when i do a performance profile in lorem right I generate performance logs and then I just uh, delete the current performance profile, right? I copy my default one. I enable all the performance options. I disable the, the, the heavy logs. That's it. That's all I have to do. With a gameplay overhaul, I wouldn't even know where to start. You, you can't do it. How it's... Anyone who wants to do like separate profiles really should just be for performance. I don't, I don't know how else you can manage it. Somebody report the thing as a bug. I bet they. Buy more horses next season? <laughs> I'd rather spend the gold on a new litter of pups, but the horses bring it. Okay. The reach grass is pretty solid. ERM blending right here is actually kind of nice. Oh, you get some weirdness. Not too bad. Crim profile non record No, that's not that's not a thing that will ever happen. You just you can't have. You can, but the the amount of work that you would have to do to do that, and then if somebody tried that, they would quit within the first update. I swear. The first update they had to do, they would just quit, scrap the entire concept. There's no way to make it viable. Son Nexus that kind of look like you. Yeah, somebody brought that up today. It's kind of funny. Isn't it like a recent one that came out? Uh, this is Fantasia Landscapes. I 
I don't even know the name of the preset. that issue was and that looks in sounds great the heck? yo that is atmospheric as all hell Eesh. I mean this looks great for no lods use the menu yeah I do for my other mod list at least you menu is dope. Guess I'm a mad lad. Your guard smiles on me. Are you talking about like your own personal profile? Because if it's your personal profile, then go for it. But it, it's it's a lot different when you're a Wabajack mod list author. Then it's like. Possible. Need to breathe and run fast. This mod list or else right. <laughs> Let me go back to Winterhold. I want to figure that out. I'm gonna figure out that mesh. This freaking this effect. Be careful. Safety hazard. Hmm. Yeah, so fear some of them have looked good. Like uh that that one author who made the like Serana and Mirac replacer, they did a good job. But a lot of the re replacers that I see lately, they just You're look here. like Leave me alone. bimbos. I don't have time for this foolishness. Now come along quietly. <laughs> Yeah, let's try to find out why this is screwy. Winterhold Light Spell Static. Lux Via. The model is Light Spell Static. Light if. I don't know. It's not it's something else. What's this object from? It is Lux Via. It's not wanting to tell me what this is. What the heck? I don't know what... It's in a vanilla object, so I don't know what the hell this is.
Hmm. <laughs> what is this thing? Right, let me try to figure it out. It's some Lux Via thing, though. Ever. Most of them serious places for looking simpy. I genuinely don't know what that thing is. But... It's like some magic one. Well, like, do you know what that thing is? I see a blue. The texture is caused by wrong path that goes to Rottenwood zero two. But w wait, which? What's the mesh itself? What mesh is it? That's what I want to know. Why is nobody's reported it? Because it's definitely, it, it has to be a Lux Via thing in the, the newest update. I mean, I guess the way to check is just download the old version. See if that fixes it.
Oh, well. If it's if it's an issue with that, then I don't know what to do about it. Uh, didn't I have this ready on my trip in it? Yeah, it has the base fixes. Nor X flat card. What? Nor X. You sure you're spelling that right? Um, I probably me spelling it wrong. Um, what? Oh, it, oh, it's from Venerable Nordic Temples Parallax Support. Um, I see. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. It's from the meshes, yeah. See if it got updated. Yeah, new issue. Yep. Oh, there's Sasquatch reporting it. Rotting wood zero two does not exist. Well, Two problems there. Number one, I don't know how to use NIF scope. The other issue is um, I don't know if I can do that and then add it in the list. I don't know if Wabajack will let me do that because you got to get like permissions for stuff. Let me delete that and let me get, get rid of it from Lorem as well. Uh, and then I'm going to put in the change log before people yell at me. Exactly. I'll just let the mod author. Deal with it. from Asensio though. Uh, 
Uh, you see, here's the here's the problem. Asensio, um, in the process of using conflict deleter, made it really tough to remove certain things. You know how that uh, snow was purple? Well, I would need to find a replacement for that specific texture. Otherwise, um, I can't do anything. See, look, texture effects, snow. See, all of these things that don't have any conflicts, like if I don't, if I don't take these from. Uh man. I'm gonna have to use them. At least the ones that don't have any conflicts. No, I don't use the MO hidden feature. I'd rather just delete the stuff that I'm not using. But here, I'm gonna... But interface stuff can go to ants. That can go. Since you leaves a backup. Oh, I didn't see the backup. You need you for, for player? I am. I haven't played in a while, but yeah. Uh, So I'll just use these. Yeah, what's your favorite nation to play as in the EU for, Benny? Or do you play with any mods? U4 is a great game. Although, like I said, I haven't really gone back to it in quite some time. Follow runs. Eh, I really play with followers. Okay, there we go. That fixed it. When in doubt, delete.
you guys ever clench your cheeks when falling from large heights in video games? I always do. I legit clench my cheeks. Being molten and iron getting stars. <laughs> Audible Sky Oblivion. I mean, it'll be moddable, but I don't, the real question is how many current mods are gonna be able to be used with Sky Oblivion. Yeah, I like the Horker. Tiny Horker. How'd you end up here? Buy Azura, buy Azura, buy Azura. I mean, these mountains look really nice. Combat mod? I'm sure you'll be able to add MCO. Yeah, making graphics only less random. It's like a boiled down reduced version of Lorem. Different textures for things. Grass looks nice. Never mind, conflict deliver leaves back up, but not a sense here that uses it. Yeah, I figured. Uh, novice grass, open wall trees. I think I have a 4080 build to join the army, so I'm gonna. Hold off on it? Hell yeah. Yeah, I think it is Vedas Brom Snowgrass. Because Novus uses Vedas Brom. It's grass mashup. But yeah, I'm gonna add a uh, Cathedral ah. Solstheim grass on top of it. Reverse the old and old. Winch on each arm. Yeah, Novus can use seasonal grass. Ovenwald has pretty heavy lods. Kind of depends on the area, but yeah. It can definitely be kind of heavy. Ooh, foggy. What do you guys think of the list so far? Good, bad, ugly, beautiful. After I picked up. I mean, I can try Picta right now too.
This grass is bothering the hell out of me, though. I don't know what the hell this is. Really tilting me. What the fuck is this? This one grass I want to get rid of. I don't like how it intersects like that. What grass mod is this from? Vanilla grass? Uh, it might. It might be. Okay. If that's vanilla grass. This looks so somewhere vague about it, so I take that as a compliment. If that's vanilla grass, then I'm wondering if. The issue isn't a landscape texture that's just using vanilla grass. Uh, time to figure it out. It's probably one freaking landscape texture that's just. Rolling me. Field of grass. Is there a mod that just replaces vanilla grass? think it's vanilla grass? I don't know what it is. Uh, okay. Skyrim. Landscape. Here. Hamrielic? Grass, no grass. Is there even a field grass, no grass? There is. Well, field grass, no grass shouldn't have any grass. Henry, I like really look like that. It's not pine forest, you don't think? Go past it, the one screenshot that had the exact. Ooh! Oh, no. <laughs> Why is that so ugly? Is it, wait, kelp be gone? All right, here's what we do. We take literally anything else. What about Veda's Brom field grass? I could take Veda's Brom or I could take Strange thing is the rest of the time looks pretty good. Yeah. Maybe it's better when it has the other stuff, but with this. Ugh. Yeah, what's good, Avatar? Bulkvanger. Alright, we'll do. Bulkvanger, but we'll keep the fuel. Grass 
No, Folkvanger has like a bunch of dead grass and stuff. I don't want that. Let's. What about cathedral? Or what about? I, I let's do let's do Vados Brahm. I think Vados Brahm is gonna be the one. Supposed to trying to make. Dude, I'm always making something. You know, I'm always doing some weird shit. Making a visual only list, so. Cathedral Pine. But I, again, I think it's going to look kind of dead. No, actually. Uh, no, actually, Cathedral Pine. That might be the play. We'll see what Vader's Brum looks like. If I don't like it, we'll try Cathedral. Vader's Brum has reeds. They... We'll see. I think that looks pretty fucking good. I mean, that actually looks kind of solid. I'm not taking out all of it as Brahma, I just it's just for this one texture. You know. I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of the clovers though. I don't know how I feel about them. But everything else. Maybe I'll mix and match. Up the density. Uh here. I don't, I don't mind the density, but I do want to mix and match. Oh god, it, Veda's bump, it doesn't even label it. I mean, it labels it, but it doesn't tell you exactly what it is. Oh, what is that? Pine field grass. Which one do we think is the plant? Do you think it's the flower? So we'll keep the grass. Remove the plant. And then maybe... Maybe add some like flowers. What this looks like. Check this out. Good could you texture. They all have neck seams. Kajits are just weird. I'm playing Anvil while watching the stream, getting a constant 50 FPS. This thing. There's not a lot of Kajit mods out there. Use Kajit overhaul. Let's uh, let's 
That isn't too bad. That isn't too bad. Yeah, the density could use a little bit of upping. But not shabby. What would it look like if I just used Cathedral? Did I disappear? What? Booba only. Nothing else, just boobs. Every NPC is replaced by a boob. good on that Coomer shit. I, uh, no one wants to make that. I mean, that's their decision, I guess. Look, I'm at it more than Skyrim. I've never used X at it once in my entire life. The thing that I hate about Pictorialis, not like hate, but Vivid is such a random weather mod. I like that. I like that. That's the keeper. That looks really good. Hey, hey, that that turned out really well. Okay, just use, just use Cathedral Pinegrass. Pick does very hit or miss. Uh, I loaded it up and then I instantly had some issues with it. But when it when it does look nice, it does look nice. Weather in NB. This is Nat 3 weather with the new cabbage NB that's built off of Silent Horizons 2. So um yeah. Done a lot more for the vivid look. Windbrid is, is from Luxvia, or not Luxvia, from uh, Northern Roads. Wolvenwald trees. No reshade. This is just straight cabbage. No reshade. The new cabbage is a lot better than the old one. I enjoy. Uh, I didn't really scrap second chapter, it's just on indefinite hold. If I do make second chapter, it's going to be built off of this. Yeah, it definitely looks better than the old. My night. Again! I haven't built lods yet, so that's why distant stuff looks fucked. <laughs> I know, right, Mary?
I really like these offenses, but I really need to figure out freaking whatchamacallit. Um, creation kit not loading. I want to know what I'm messing with this specific area. Could be something from the uh, the farm fences mod. I mean, I guess I could r remove farm fences and see if it fixes it. That would be a thing. See, I have a feeling that it's not going to change it anything though because I think the farm fences mod is just replacing the fences themselves not doing anything else um now the other thing azurite weathers is getting uh some love I know that dawnfire is dropped for azurite too And I tested it out. The, the only thing about Azurite is it's is it's very, very blue. It could work in this list though. It's a very blue weather mod. Lazy farmer's not waiting, true. Windmill mod? I think it's just Smim. Yeah, it's not. Still didn't change it. Complementary grass fix. Flux file landscape fixes for grass mods. Do you think? Do you think? Uh, um, creation kit's gonna let me do things this time. Yeah, I'm making a new list. All right, see you, rest of us. Thanks for uh, for being here. Uh, I only want this, and then let's see. Uh. too many mods you don't like the stun walls that sucks I like them good uh, wire an exterior one I'm just gonna pray that creation kit lets me do things. I let it load. This is another reason why um, people downgrade is in general. Freezing again. Oh. I do, man. I feel like maybe I 
deleted things that I shouldn't have. If I get this, do I need the fixes? Let's see if that fixed it. Either that fixed it or it broke it. A new Dark Brotherhood replacer. Um, really tried it out. Can I enable multiple things at once? I think that's the real question. Is there a hotkey? Can I just like press? <laughs> Love how it just decides to shut down. Skyrim 3D stone walls. Isn't that the one that has like a million ollies? Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not using that. I don't think that looks better. Uh, 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 Oh my god, how is this fix? I wasn't having this issue before. Oh my god. Why doesn't it automatically load the master file? I don't get it. Oh, should we just load my entire freaking... So let me load Northern Roads. Landscape fixes for grass mods, complementary grass, whatever. Complementary grass fix. Landscape fix for grass mods. All right, grass fix. Is that gonna work? Are you serious? Is merging still needed? Not usually. There's some reasons to merge, but you don't usually have to merge. Okay. Northern roads. Patch for northern roads. Okay. What are they talking about? What like what is what are they actually smoking? Bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna at this point I'm just gonna delete all my patches and, and only make uh 
only make my own patches. This is insane. Why isn't it able to find the master? Landscape fixes for grass mods. Complementary grass fixes. I don't get it. Hey, what's up, Lux? Oh, my God. Creation kit, please. See if this helps. Yeah, creation kit is being jerk of Northern Roads, but easier. Well, I don't mind patching it anything, but uh, what I do mind is creation kit just not wanting to work because that ain't helpful. <laughs> Let me just do... I mean, ideally it should just be able to... Nice, it's even worse than before. Why did it just... It just said nope. No, it's not going to be using Dawnfire. Can I just, can I just load these two? I guess let me do it this way. Uh, I mean, I don't know, but for right now I'm using Cabbage. The new update. Okay. Praying it doesn't freeze again. Bro, why? Why is it freezing? Maybe I'll try with, you know what I, I bet it is? I bet it's the ENB. Let me try booting it up without ENB. If I could guess it's one thing.
just disable that and clear my override as well. Try launching it up. Enabled loading 1.71 plugins in the extended platform. No. I don't even know what that is. How do I? Uh, just the. I'm not using platform extended, I'm using just regular creation kit. What's up, Kaelin? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that this will fix it. Not having an ENB, get a little lighter. If it freezes, then rip. Hey, I'm making a graphics only list. All right, see you, friends. Have a good night. Please don't freeze. Please don't freeze. It couldn't even make it. Couldn't even. Why? What is causing it to freeze? God, this is frustrating as hell. Man, creation kit sucks ass. Do I still have a... Is this the older copy of Anvil? I am praying that it is. It is it is okay maybe maybe anvil can save me here maybe anvil can save me nice it's not even starting Does platform extended really not work with uh
Yeah, hey, that's good to hear us. That's gear. Man, it doesn't help that Nexus has been like insanely slow lately. Faithful Facer. You're sick. Come on, just download, holy crap. Give me at least like five megabytes per second. Wild. After downgrade three mods were essentially a year ago, last time I used it. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I have most of these. Let's see if this damn thing works. Semper, um, yeah, I mean, there is a way. But you would have to know a thing or two about Conditions and emesis. Most of the animations that Ultima has are already in Lorem. It's just Lorem has stances. You can just switch between the stances. Lorem has m more animations than Ultima. The Warriors? I'm really hoping that this works. 
I'm just trying to see this without any freezes in creation kit. impressed by the stability <laughs> took uh took a while to get there what's the biggest single mod i'm not sure like in terms of size There's a lot of stuff, Semper, that uh, you have to, uh, like, there's there's really cool stuff that's locked behind perks. Because in Lorem, right, Lorem makes you work for it. It doesn't just make you OP at level one. But once you, you're in endgame, man, you're doing some crazy shit. So, like, it has, you know, the dynamic dodge with the bow that's, like, locked behind a perk, for example. I am clenching my cheeks. Let it load. Let it load. Don't don't touch it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh We've made it this far. We made it this far. Landscape editing. Okay. Uh, I need a smaller radius. Thank you. Um, what texture is this? That's just dirt zero one, right? Not what I want it to do at all. Oh, is it not gonna let me do dirt zero one here? Por que? I do dirt zero two. Oh, Dirt Zero Two works. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get those plants away from my cabbages. Hey! Very nice. Can I now paint over this with Dirt Zero One? Not gonna let me. Whatever. It'll just be a different type of dirt. I'll save. All right, we fixed creation kit. You drill pine grass, wait, let me. Every time you know, I breathe and run fast. First you gotta breathe. <gasps> you gotta run fast. <laughs> Get rid of any unused masters. Okay. Oh wait, that's the wrong. Yeah, this is the one that I was talking. Master. Uh, 
page you arm. Well, I'm hoping that uh, fire and attack starts. I'm hoping that this will solid. Man. All right, let's take a look in game. Doing stuff like this really makes me happy. When you when you see something messed up and then you can fix it and then you get into the game and it's not a mess. Like that is a, uh, for me, that's a big accomplishment. Well, I don't know what the hell I just did here. What the heck is that? How did I break? What the heck did I just do? Nice. <laughs> Wait, what? What the? F Wait. It's because of this grass patch. I broke the grass patch that I made. Wish my modded Skyrim started that fast. <laughs> 1.0 done. Time for release. Uh, it's gotta be my grass patch. I did something with this that I shouldn't have. Uh... Oh man. Uh... Cathedral 3D pine grass. Should just be that. Yeah, let's load back up. Cause I didn't touch the Grass mods, but I might have accidentally loaded something that I shouldn't have in Creation Kit and then it broke it. This was not loading like this a second ago. How did I even manage that? I'm trying to figure out what what went wrong. Is it something being wait, is something being overwritten? Is it because I don't have the E and B on? So the complex grass is all fucked up? I don't know why that would affect the purple textures, but hey, you never know. But I think that, that it's gonna fix the floating things. I was like, what the heck did I do? Why is it floating? I forgot that I turned the E and B off. So that'll fix the floating. 
The purple, though, I'd be surprised if it gets fixed by this, but maybe. I did fix the purple too. All right. Hey. Looking better. Looking better. They're now plowing cabbages instead of trying to mow the lawn with the. Uh, whatchamacallit? All right. Not shabby. Not shabby. I was concerned there for a second. I'm like, man, what the? He's like, what's this? I really like these fences. I think it only affects the white run ones. It wouldn't be too hard to uh, mess with these though. <clears throat> you really don't like these uh, these walls? I think these walls are dope. I think they look good. I'm not a fan of the mossy ones. And then the, the mossy ones, the Skyrim 3D ones or whatever, are too, uh, too dark. Another good one, though, is um, Boreal Wyron. I might switch to Boreal. Boreal Wyron is what I originally had in Lorem. Some people think that these ones look too clean. Some people think that the moss looks like shit. Oh, that's the other thing. It's going to affect all of them. Every single... That, that's the other thing you have to take into consideration. Every single farmhouse wall is now going to be replaced by these ones. If I were to use these, every single one gets replaced by it. I just think these look better. This looks like vanilla. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why the the 3D stone walls to me they. I mean, here I'll check them out in game. I don't want to hate on it too much, but like it it reminds me of vanilla stone walls. No, Nordic stone walls are. First of all, I think Nordic stone walls look worse than either of these two. Second of all, Nordic stone walls are the ones that have the... Uh, let me confirm, it's the it's the circular ones, right? Yeah. These ones have an insane amount of tries. This shit is like 300,000 tries or something if you use the um, IV patch for it. Your FPS will literally go down the shitter. 
last ones look like they yeah you could technically have like a base object swapper thing for it but you'd need you'd need to open now look here's the other thing right you still have these here but then you just have mossy ones here it doesn't even make sense Now you have two different ones. And I feel like I'm not gonna like them in Riverwood. Because they don't blend with they don't use the, your actual farmhouse textures, they use like stone texture. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, these though um they will they will light your computer on fire all right let's check out boreal The coolest thing about Boreal White Run to me is the, like, it adds, like, little detail features. Yeah. There's a lot of places that have those. Air Atronax. Yo, that's creepy. Pretty sick. This is another thing I like. People are going and um, making complex parallax for older mods. Pretty cool. <laughs> So these are the, the boreal ones. And you, you see, here's the nice thing about um, not replacing your stone walls, right? So remember how we had the mossy ones in Riverwood a second ago? Well, look, we got a Riverwood. Look at that. It's gonna use the farmhouse specific textures instead of white runs textures. So you actually have more variance. Instead of them all being replaced by the mossy ones. And this grass though, that's looking pretty fire. Yeah, exactly, j -Man. I'm I'm big on uh, making the areas look varied. I think I still like uh, tomatoes walls more, but I, I do like um, the actual cities, the interior of the uh, white one. Once we go in, yeah, make the cities unique. Exactly. But you can't tipsy. Here's here's a here's a problem, tipsy. We just saw that you can't really pick and choose because it's going to be inconsistent either way. Because look, it's free cam. Let's show you again. This this is not going to use the mossy ones. So you're going to have mossy walls right here, but not mossy walls right here. And then it just looks completely off. You'd have to go and delete all this. Or replace it completely with something else. 
I don't know. I just I, I noticed little stuff like that. And that ends up bothering the hell out of me. Hey, but look at Boreal. I think the buildings themselves look really good with this uh, texture. And I know there's a uh, add-on to replace the old pine needles with the greener, greener versions. The farmers are charging the double for the produce I sell. Let me guess. They're saying it's because of this trouble with the store clothes. Oh man, I don't know. Illustrious is too good. I could take some things from Boreal. I really like how it makes the buildings themselves look. Textures, architecture, white run. Landscape, grass. Or that swim. Uh, base dirt. City walls. So let's get rid of the city walls. I don't like the boreal doors. Keep those. Yeah, let's get rid of the field grass. What is the slate for, I wonder? Oh, I think that's the rooftops. Yeah, that's like the shingles. I think. Moon base. That. Stone blocks. Blocks, stone floor. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the original stone floor. Yo, J Man. Hey, I appreciate you. Can't remember what I did. Minor, not inconsistent. I did a lot of manual changes. Forget later. Yeah. I get you, Penguin, but like, you know. To be fair to me, you did say it's really, really bad, and I just don't agree, you know what I mean? Hey, thank you so much, J-Man. I'm definitely going to keep Rally's Temple of Kinnereth with the Temple Tiles, Walls, Vines. Uh, any Trello stuff I'm going to get rid of. Trims, beams, branches, or I 
That's cool. Let's check this out now. See the final result. Is it mixing and matching Boreal with a uh, Illustrious? Sowables? Oh, I've seen that mod. Your mod list automatically puts you at a less looking ENB. But if you run Lauren with cabbage, it looks like next gen graphics. Um, I mean, again, you know, ENB is definitely personal preference. I do like the new cabbage though, but there's certain things that I still prefer with Dawnfire, especially like NPC faces. And the fires in Dawnfire, I think, also look better. Uh, I think that nighttime looks better. The weather is a little bit more consistent with it. Cabbage can look good in the right circumstances. A food expansion mod? It's sick. It's dope. I like it a lot. I think uh, you should uh, try on fire a little bit. You know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't sleep on it. Okay, I'm liking this look so far. back the floors but the buildings are pretty solid yeah the, the roof rooftop gonna have to go yeah because of the parallax it's gonna make it look weird otherwise everything else though looks uh, pretty solid I mean, I could get rid of the parallax effect from the... Because without it... Without the parallax... What it would look like. Actually, there is... Do I still have that mod or no? Late.
Anything that says slate in it. Let's delete. What? A W R slate. Let's go now. Lorem stream? Uh no, it's it's a new mod list. The new I'm cooking up. Exactly, Maya. Yeah, it's a whole separate one. It's, it's a whole separate one designed around, uh, you know, enhanced visuals, and you can add whatever gameplay you want. Next gen Ultima Smooth Cam preset. How oh, it swings back and forth. Like you, you pull your weapon out and then it's like completely different. Ah, uh, the Hellblade preset. I gotta have my Hellbra Hellblade on you uh, preset. like this one. See if that fixed the rooftops. Bit of. Oh, they're still all a jank. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of the guns, everything. Uh Yeah, let me remove this completely. Let's just white run. Thing it loads quick. Not too many uh summon white run guards. People come up with the best mods. Legendary quartermaster, hero guard. is still being applied to it. I don't get it. Real white run is pulling me. Because I think that problem exists when I... And plaster decals? Oh my god, there it is. 
this freaking one. Not only that, I, I bet I could add this back and it'd be fine. All right, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, Boreal does have good wood. I used to think I was good at mining until I watched your streams. Now that I realize I'm but a humble apprentice. <laughs> oh, there's, there's people who are cracked out there. Yo, what's up, David? All right, so hopefully this fixes the rooftops and... Why? What the hell is it doing? All right. Pictures, city wall trims. Maybe it's that trims, trims zero one. This is the only thing I can think of. Uh, trims. No. Mm. Not gonna be that. Mm. Car panels, no. Door, wood panel. Oh, it is this crap dragon tile. Kind of look like that. Floorboards, okay, hall carvings. Not gonna be that. A uh, large wooden pillar. No. Also, might run moss. Oh, Glass. I'll get rid of the plaster just in case. Uh... Oh, that's the interior of the roof, huh? It has to be one of the things that I deleted. Playing Thuldors, adding a bunch of things to it. Community shaders. You don't like cabbage and bee? 
try the new cabbage. Now cabbage just got updated and he uses silent horizons too. So in my opinion, it's a little bit better looking than it was before. Or just use a different natty and beam. Nat does have a lot of ENB options. Mon, Donfire, Ebony, Berserker, Bjorn. Hey, I fixed it. I have no idea which one it was, it was causing the issues, but. See, now that looks good. That looks, that looks nice now. Whoosh. Yo, that looks, you gotta admit, the little carvings and stuff look sick. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Take care with those things. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that, Weathers. That's fair. Just What's the meaning of this interruption? This, Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. This isn't a vanilla running animation though. The same. That ain't vanilla. You're left creeping up, true. Kind of a creep. So you were at hell, but it's none of by east. Here, Irileth was right. What? They now prevent us. Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord. The troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. What is that? Conditional running animations? To join Ulfric's side and attack him, we should Enough. not. <laughs> yeah, this kata indeed. Technically, Lorem has them too. They're just being overwritten by dynamic sprint, and I've been too lazy to get rid of it. Spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Need more experience. I think the heavy armor one looks good. What happened to the Discord mod suggestions? Uh, I wasn't getting any suggestions that were actually like decent. Not only that, I was getting a lot of duplicate suggestions, like people were posting stuff without even looking if it was already suggested. And after like the millionth time, it starts to be like, all right, whatever.
Man, this grass though blends super nice with the uh, landscape. Level up available. I didn't even check. Like I've been so focused on um, wall textures. Oh, that's uh, illustrious. Or not illustrious, boreal. It's a uh, Nolvis grass with um, what you call it, uh, Fantasia landscapes. Yo, this this actually looks really sick. This blends in super nice. Hell yeah. How many days it keeps switching the weather on me? Fantasia, let's go to Falkreath. Fantasia is better for that bright, vibrant fantasy look. Definitely doesn't have the cold Nordic tone. This looks solid considering it's, uh, you know, pretty much vanilla Falkreath. This would actually be sick to just kind of replay vanilla, but just way better graphics. Yo, look at that tree right there. Damn. plus cabbage for that Korean MMO. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. The god RK was once like us. Honestly, like this already isn't too far off from what I would want. So, you know. I might publish this soon-ish. I don't really see any notable seams in the landscape. I'm sure there's gonna be some stuff because of Northern Roads. But, uh... And for those people who don't want Northern Roads, it's gonna be super simple to just yeet it. Yeet it and delete it. But I'm actually happy with how this uh, turned out. Cathedral, three dead bush. Dead bush. This. Hey, shout out to Fr France. What's up, nation? You see, let's go to solitude. Yeah, nothing makes dead shrubs look good. That's deleting them completely. 
It's kind of from scratch. It's built off of my other list, but yeah, I, uh, making a visual only mod list, you know. Doesn't have any lods yet. Don't look at that. No, I'm not gonna use. I, I, I wouldn't. SR exteriors in a visual only list wouldn't make any sense. Because SR exteriors is itself a big gameplay change. And it would kill people's FPS. Slow walk, turn off the, oh, true, HUD's on. Or the HUD. Wait, did, did I break my ultimate immersion? All right, now we can get Five million views. Just generate lots and be like, this is this is Skyrim in twenty sixty nine. First thing I did with Foldor was remove SR. Yeah. I mean, SRX series just by itself would limit people's FPS like crazy. It would just, it would instantly cut off the list from so many people. It's a sky. <laughs> Not great, sky, sky, Cyberpunk Skyrim in 2077, true. They always walk really, really slow. Well, they have to, you know why? So you want to know the trick, the secret, Hanan. You know why they walk super slow? You want you want to know how the YouTubers get you? This is why YouTubers are pieces of shit. Don't even trust a single one of them. Not one. It's because they f sit there and fuck around with the weathers and the lighting and stuff. And they get just that right perfect angle where they can walk. But they can't walk too far because if they walk too far then they get out of that perfect situation where they can actually have the right lighting, the right angles, the right everything, the right fogginess, bloom, volumetric lights, rays, sun shafts, ambient occlusion. They, get, they sell you bullshit. So yeah, people need to stop getting, getting clickbaited by YouTubers. They'll always be like, they'll always be like, Oh, look at this, Biggie. Did you see this? It's so good. And here's the thing. It'll either be some paywalled crap, paywalled reshades and stuff, or it'll be like a bunch of cut clips pasted together. They'll only show like max 30 seconds at a time, and then they'll move to a different scene. You lost? Uh, the, these dead shrubs, though, like... I mean, really, um, there's the dead shrub remover, and that's pretty much the only thing that can really fix them. Do, 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 do. Evil bitch. That's the ESP. That's disgusting. There's one that just replaces it with a. There's a non... I know there's this base object swapper thing, but... Yellow mountain flowers, huh?
Nettles. I don't want to use a ESP to swap. Base object swap or a GTFO. Mostly dead shrugs. I don't know. I like the cathedral one. But extra thick. Oh yeah, this one had like some crazy amount of polys. Hey, Mamas. Hell yeah, Mike. Brand new. Never seen before. All right, yeah. And sometimes the base object swapper thing doesn't even work. I think maybe it had... It has to do with, um, you can't use the replacer, like. Like if I remove this. What does this do? A shrub. That's not how to spell thicket. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. I have a... Is there really not a... Oh, yeah, this is it. This is, this is the one. shrubs with 20k polys and 8k textures oh yeah it's insane and then they glow in the dark this is somewhat related this is like this is like lorem's child a visual only mod list for you guys to be able to build off of and do your own thing 1.5.97 just requires the free anniversary edition stuff not the paid upgrade Hey, there you go. The thing is gone. Is that better? What the hell is that? Was this there a second ago? Maybe it was. They are very yellow. They're not even bad. They're, they're just a very yellow. I feel like maybe I need to just reduce their size. Can I help you? Arms child inherited the good looks, but not down there. <laughs> okay, love that it doesn't require the AE stuff. Yeah, it'll just be very accessible to a lot of people, but. Trying to keep the uh, next gen visual thing going on, you know? I want it to be the best looking and most consistent looking uh, visual only list. And do it with as few plugins as possible. Water. Yeah, Novus is gonna have a graphics only profile, but um, Novus structures itself very differently. So I don't know how uh, easy it'll be for um, really nice looking tundra cotton. I don't know how easy it'll be for people wanting to make Wabajack lists for it. You know what I mean? I think I think Novus is. Graphical only version is going to be really good for like people's personal lists, but we'll see how it is with uh, 
if someone can build off of it to make a Wabajack, because that might be a different story. Waba is like very peculiar, you know? There's things that you can and can't add. Etc. I let the man cook. What was version 5 so good for its time? For its time? That was only like a year ago. I mean, I, I think in terms of visuals of Novus's time, like, I think Ro still, Ro is the best looking for my money. Zero percent chance of this receiving seasons. Season is ugly. It's not even hard to add to this, but just ugly. And Seasons is a gameplay thing. It's not a visual only thing. But if you want Seasons, it's really easy to add to this because uh, the grass mod has seasonal support. You know, Nolvis uh, seasons. And then the uh, trees also have seasonal support. But I'm not running seasons grass cash and stuff. What's he ask you? The idea they're listed look good, but are far beyond my skins. Tentangled tangle to mix. Son of a Victory is yours. I submit. Yeah. Well, oh, shooting at me. Can't wait to count on your ball. Toggle grass just so I can. See if there's any... Oh yeah, see it. <laughs> How did I smell a seam right here? Uh, Northern Roads, Lux Via, Lux Harvest Patch, Rocks Patch. Okay, this is... See, it's like the same mod, right? The last modified this, but for some reason there's still a weird seam. I love Northern Roads. I mean, it's fixable. This was this rock pile was last changed by Northern. You know, maybe, maybe the rock piles mod is actually causing more issues than it fixes. Actually, isn't there... I need to get a couple of these things anyway. That. That. Funding patch. Fix.
thought there was one for those rocks. There's a collision fix. Grab that. Grab that. They need this too. Concept. That northern concept thing. I had it. Oh, okay. Okay, do that. Does this ready fix it? Okay. I don't think that did anything. Hey, sauce. Before people make videos, this is Skyrim 2025 with this list, right? fix anything it's, it's so strange whatever i can fix it manually that's just stupid i'm wondering if it isn't the uh ultimate grass patch or whatever that's that causes it i think it might be yeah untarnished ui Oh, 
Out of all the really good looking UIs, I think Untarnished is the most like uh, complete compatible. New version of Edge UI. Eh. I don't really care about Edge UI. The uh, co author tried to paywall a PDF mod list. So I really don't anything care. I don't know about anything about the other person, Eugene or whatever, but I know that Suki tried to paywall some shit. So I'm, uh, I'm not including Edge. Dude, and then he's like, he's like, some mod list deserve to be. In the dude, dude is such a scumbag. Dude, like in the process, he's like he like talked crap about Nolbus and stuff because he got a lot of backlash for it. And he's like, some mod list deserve to be paywalled or something. And then he's, and the thing is, he wasn't even making it a Wabajack list. He was just he was literally paywalling a PDF. It was a weird hill to die on. Um. And then he was talking about how uh, he had a pirated copy of the game. And that's why he's not making it a web checklist. I'm like, this guy doesn't stop. Freaking menace. Yeah, I think um, once No Grass and Objects uh, is run, it'll clean up this grass hopefully even better. I think Edgy is developed by Eugene. It, the, yeah, Eugene is the main developer, but as, if I saw it right, Suki is the like co-developer. Hey, well, is a problem these days. It's such a great area making money on someone else's game. You're not even making out money off somebody else's game with paywalling a mod list, though. You're you're uh, you're also making money off of uh, other people's mods. Yeah, he's paywalling a, a a PDF, and he had a pirated copy of Skyrim. That's wild. Like, really weird. Yeah, and then the dude was like, "This is why I got like eat." By the way, guys, I'm over here just like chilling you know living my best life and then i see some somebody acting scummy and i'm like one of the few people who actually call them out anymore and then i get like so much hate for it they send their trolls after me they raid the discord and spam shit and leave hate comments and like report my videos and do all sorts of crap but I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm getting to the point where I'm just like so sick of it, you know? Yeah, they even had the hashtag not a nul, nulvis, yeah, it's... And he was literally out here saying that his mod list, his, alright, his mod list deserves to be paywalled, guys. Even though it doesn't even auto-install and it's just a fucking PDF list of mods. But Nolvis, the mod list that auto installs for you and is highly customizable, and it is actually has custom patches, and, to, and is built on years of work. That, oh, well, if that's free, well, it sucks for them. No integrity anymore. Yeah, that is one thing that's for sure. I really like how the uh, Tundra came out. You're in the spotlight, it's gonna happen, yeah. Just remember that videos like yours inspired people me to get into mining in the first place. Hey, I appreciate that solace, I really do. It's just, you know, here's the other thing. It's like, I'm getting older. I have a son and we want to have more kids and like my my attention is like already shifted other places 
Uh, like, I'm not gonna do this forever. Um, so I'm just trying to give back to you guys. Because really, like, the last, like, year and some change has been super, super fun. So I'm, I'm just trying to, like, make some good mod lists for you guys and share, like, what I know and what I've learned. Give you guys a list to... Give you guys, you know, the best list I can make with a uh, Lorem. Oh, that's awesome. It's screwy. Maybe that's just because the LOD didn't generate. Let me get closer. So give you the best list that I can make with Lorem, and then give you a list to build off of with this. Maybe do like one more project and then, yeah. Be on his deathbed. I still need to breathe and run fast. <laughs> right. This looks like it's just missing a texture. Deal with this. Oh, it is LODs. Yeah, I was like, what the hell is... I'm, I'm, I'm like, if it was fully gray, then it would be a parallax issue. If it was purple, then it'd be missing texture. I'm like, I've never seen that before. Is that just a LOD not loaded in? In fact, it was a LOD not loaded in. It's much preacher, dude. At least that's the ego. Oh, I am not... I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna make at least one or two more bangers before I go. And who knows, maybe I'll just like, um, go into semi-retirement where I just like do, it, do the occasional little stream or something. What will you do when you stop live streaming? Have to go download streams. <laughs> the streams will be up. Luckily, YouTube saves streams. Um, but yeah, it's just wild that like, man, because of you guys, I've had some streams where it was like 250 people watching, which is crazy to me i'm getting close to 9k subs like i thought that i would just i didn't even know i was gonna hit like a hundred that's on the family plans though me and my girl want kids but gotta climb out of student medical debt first that's fair although i will say kids aren't when you when you consider taxes kids aren't expensive as you think they they are definitely expensive but they aren't as expensive as you'd think. I think I wanna, I think I wanna replace this, uh, this grass. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna replace this grass with something else. One grass texture. I like uh, QW's grass for this area, so maybe I'll see what they did. I think there's also an Iverstead bridge fix for this. Made by Thulder. Let me throw this right there. Business idea: bay pi buy paid mod list, sell them all together as a package on your Patreon. For <laughs> oh God. <laughs> So this is why I like watching it because as you said, but I saw a lot of um, many amazing videos that look amazing. But when I tried, I was like, what the fuck? Do each mod list carefully. Yeah. Like here's the big takeaway. I'm the best. Is there, there ain't, there ain't some like crazy thing that's going to come out, you know, like even, even Nolvis looks good version six, but like, People are, tr some people 
are treating it like, oh man, nothing else is gonna compete. It's gonna be the best thing ever. Like it's still a Skyrim mod list made by made with the mods that are on Nexus, you know. So no matter what, uh, like there should be a little piece here. So like no matter what, um, I would just temper your expectations re regardless. I feel like this needs to be raised a little bit. Bridge is pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, and the other thing is I, I've, I see people be like, um, oh, well, I'm just going to hold off or something for, for, uh, this mod list or this mod list and because this is going to be so much better and i'm just like hmm. like you can for sure but just keep in mind that listen as a as a mod list author and i keep track of which new mods are coming out right and i don't really and I, I look at most of it, I don't see a mod that looks really good. And I'm just like, wow, that's really, really good. I'm not going to include it. You know, unless there's like a very specific compatibility reason. Making a Fallout 4 mod list. I feel like the next gen thing is going to ruin modding for Fallout 4 though. So I'm going to have to wait and see. Hey, look, I fixed it. Hey, you see that perfect example of a load order fix? Look at that. Look at that. Not not too shabby, ya boy. Has learned a lot about load order. I am loot. My goal for my list is to overall the first person and perspective as much as possible. Hell yeah. There's a lot of good mods that make the first person feel beefy. Action Fall 4 is already ring London. Yeah. Some of us are not happy they want to release it. They did it on purpose. They, they did it in, intentionally. The date was just... Impressive, I would just remove mods. <laughs> Never give up, everything is fixable. You ever think about getting into game development? Uh, I wouldn't even know where to start with that though. I don't have any game development experience, I don't really know how to code. I would love to develop a game. I feel like I would have good ideas for making a game, but I just don't know how to translate my ideas into something in in game, you know? If I could just tell people what to do, have somebody else code it, man, it'd be a banger. You gonna be uh, using the new cabbage. The one that's based off of Silent Horizons. Yeah, get the hell away from me. Do it. Like I said, I didn't... I don't think anyone would even hire me. I don't want to kill that troll. I think the new cabbage is a lot better. Hundred time, I fully take back every bad thing I said about it. I I do think that some things could still be improved for sure, but it's a lot better.
Maybe a dozen or two mods that genuinely overhaul first person. Yeah. The, the key, I think, to first person combat is making visuals look good. Because, I mean, they're, you're going to be... They're going to be stuck in your face. And then having really good hit impacts. Making the combat feel weighty. Par parry RPG is a great mod to have. With the Unreal Engine, I don't believe you need no, to okay. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know nothing about that either. This Tundra Grass, too. I think I want to use a... a a mashup of what I had before and uh, the Nolvis one. That's true, I can just have AI code for me. So anyway guys, what do you, what do you think of the visuals so far? Well, this, this is kind of cool though, for the volcanic. Dryer grass. I feel like I might just make my own grass mashup. I think I could make one. Alright, see ya, Tipsy. You like it so far? Hell yeah. I think I'm definitely going to go back to using Bannerheim uh, for the volcanic area, though. I think it's just so good. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Sixteen times the detail and it just works. Yeah. Conflicts with majestic mountains too much. Luckily, I don't use majestic mountains. But I see. I know what you mean because it's like very red. It works better with the brown uh, mountains. If you have brown mountain textures, I think it can look pretty good. I don't know how it would look with this, because these are like grayish. I might keep it this way and keep it kind of simple for people. Not go overboard with using too, too many different types, you know? I just find it funny how you go from like hot springs and stuff to just snow. People have asked me so many times though about these zigzags. Right? The truth is these zigzags are caused by northern roads. I mean, you can have them in vanilla too, but they're... Um, they're a lot more common in northern roads. 
just because of how the mod works. In order to get rid of them, you'd have to like repaint all of this as just snow, I guess. Doable, but yo, what's up, Zell? Where have we been, Morthal? When I'm in Lorem, yeah, that's my favorite city in Lorem, probably. I think I, th I don't know about city mods. I considered it, but yeah, I think they do fall too too much under gameplay. I could do a poll, but I mean, any city mod that adds NPCs would be a no-go for sure. I could do JK Skyrim, but any anything that adds new NPCs is going to be conflicting with potentially so is new cabbage way darker than before uh, it might be cabbage is always pretty dark at night in my opinion I do add a city mod it'll be jk's yes maybe spaghetti like spaghetti or jk is maybe the only two that i would consider can't really do anything else all tv show no i've heard mixed things about it some people say it's good some people say it's bad but i haven't really gotten a chance to Anyway, guys, if you're not going to go all out in city overhauls to protect you, just feel like it's maybe not worth it. I usually get ripped out. Yeah, exactly. And even if I do add some crazy overhauls, like there's going to be people who don't like them and then they have to rip them out anyway. But anyway, hey, it's been a blast. I might end it off here. Uh... Like I ripped all the spaghetti stuff? Yeah, that's what I mean. But spaghetti, thankfully, is just clutter and it's super easy to rip out. And it comes with all-in-ones, you know? But hey, you guys are awesome. Have a good week. Start your Monday off right. Um, Hopefully I'll see you guys for the next stream. And join the bungalow discord if you haven't already. Hell yeah, Manny. Thank you.